Hi, welcome to this new video. And for this week's video, I want to go through a really advanced process that will imply the use of HubSpot first, of course, but also a third party app named Apollo. And the goal of this video is to make sure all your contacts are up to date in terms of job titles and company because it might happen that you have a lot of inbound leads or you perform import because you bought or scrap a specific database. But after a few times, like six months, one year, one year and a half, two years, there's a high percentage of chance that the lead you have, the B2B lead you have, is not working in the same company anymore, which results in a hard bounce in his email and no reason at all to contact him because he's not existing anymore. So now that we have this issue, we need to find a solution. And the solution is using an integration between HubSpot and Apollo. So I discovered Apollo a few years ago because at the beginning it was mostly a scrapping software. So basically you could like say, I want to have all the information of this specific persona. And Apollo through a filtering system will find all the leads corresponding to your target. And you could like export it and then have all the detail of the lead you want. But now Apollo is way more than that. So you can still do this scrapping feature, but you can also have like kind of a data health center for your CRM. And you can also do a lot of outreach campaigns, etc. And the best thing about it, you can add a lot of different automation on those three different usage. So before I show you how to update automatically the job change of your leads in a spot, I want to be fully transparent with you. I'm not sponsored by Apollo, but I joined their affiliate program. so. If you want to try Apollo later on, you can click on my affiliate link in the description below. I will receive commission for every purchase you make. So now that said, let's see what happened. Now our spot is connected to this Apollo account and we can see that we have 15% of our database that need enrichment. It means 15% of our database has a recognized job and company for Apollo, but is not up to date. They all change either their job title or their company name. We have 58% of unknown data. I will show you how to avoid having that big number. But the idea is that once you have those number, you can click on job change alerts and you will have in all, all the different leads of your spot that have changed their job from Agrola to Godard Energies, for instance. And you also have a history tab, which are all the leads that Apollo already updated in a spot based on their company change. Based on the size of your database, you might want to apply filters by job title, contact owner, specific information about the company, the location, etc. It's like really complete filtering system, but you will be able to have the list of all the job changes that happen in your HubSpot. So before showing you how to manually update those records and automatically update them on a regular basis. Let's see first how you can connect and set up your integration between HubSpot and Apollo. So to do so is really easy. You can go to settings and click on the integration tab. Here you will see that you can connect Apollo to actually all your CRMs. The one that interesting us right now is HubSpot, obviously. So as you can see, I already connected, but if you don't, it will be like that. And you can just click on connect. It will ask you to give authorization and stuff. Just follow the process step by step and you will have connected your spot serum. Now that is connected, you still need to do some specific setup to make sure everything is going to happen correctly. So you can click on view. And here you are on the spot setting menu where you will be able to set up all the things you want. The first thing you need to understand is that like in a spot is divided into different objects. So contact accounts, which is company and deals. And you will need to set up all those different objects to make sure everything is going well. As you can see, there's like the stages. So because it's an outreach sequence tool, you might want to update the spot list status based on the different stages that Apollo offer you for their cold reach sequence. In this video, we are not talking about this outreach feature, so we don't need to do anything with this specific tab. But what's interesting us is the default field and the custom field. So default fields is basically every time Apollo get information about a lead, we want to make this information flow to HubSpot. So 
natively a spot will give you first name last name company name job title email city state country etc but one thing you really need to map is a person linkedin profile is not native so you do you need to do it manually the goal here is to make sure that when you get a new contact or when apollo is looking for a contact in a spot is able to find his linkedin url because linkedin url is the most precise way for apollo to recognize a lead if you remember in the beginning of the video i show you 58 percent of unknown is because they don't have a linkedin url so apollo is not sure who this person is or not to do so you just need to click here and choose the linkedin url property you set up on your hotspot portal if you have issue about connecting your linkedin url in your hotspot i made a video i'm not sure it will be published yet but if it is you can find it on the top right corner of this video so that's the basic default contact field what does that mean is mean like when apollo is connected to your spot he will send those information because we want to change the updates of our existing leads in a spot, we might want to implement custom properties, what we call custom fields. For instance, if you want to only change the name for leads that you tag as target leads, for instance, and not waste your Apollo credits on bad quality lead, you can just create a contact field name, I don't know, top target, for instance, say that it's a checkbox, yes or no, La, that it depends on the custom property you have on your spot CRM, and you want to map it with the corresponding spot custom property. So we have a top target property, which is a single checkbox, so it will match with the Apollo field type. And here you can click on it, that say this field will map to a read-only spot field. It means that it's just one-way flow of the data only from hotspot to Apollo. Apollo will not be able to modify this value, so it will not mess up with your CRM. And now that's done, you can simply click on save and do that for all the custom property you have on a spot that you want to use to filter the job change of your database. And the last part you need to care about is the sync tab. The idea is that you will need to choose if you want all the contacts you generate through Apollo to go through HubSpot or just for certain stages. And to be able to see which leads are created from Apollo, once again, it's for the scrapping features, but it's better to use it directly right now. They will give you a single line text value that you can map with a specific custom property in a spot. So I created Apollo tag just to make sure like we understand Apollo tag filled with Apollo. It means it's created by Apollo. And once that's done, you need to understand that if it's the first time you connect your Apollo account to your hotspot, you will need, I think it's six hours. That's like of a safety time for you to make sure you map everything. So we did it for contact, but don't hesitate to do it for accounts, deal activities, if you find a use for it. And you will need to wait these six hours to make sure everything is ready before a spot send all your database to Apollo. Because that's the thing, Apollo don't let us decide who is going to be on your Apollo account. It's like all your database will be integrated with Apollo. But after those six hours, you will be able to go to the data enrichment tab, which is this one, and you will have the same graph as I have, and you will be able to start updating your contacts job changes. So I told you that you can go to the job change alert tab and put the filters you want. So let's say I want to see the job change only for the people located in France, and we go from six something to 5,300 uh, contacts. And I say, okay, I want this one, this one, this one, and this one to be updated. And you can simply click on job change action. And then you can choose between either create a new contact. So you will have two, for instance, John Smith, the one that worked in Tesla before and which is out to date and the one that work at Apple now that is like his current job. Or you can update existing contact with job change. And what will happen is like they will take John Smith from Tesla and they will change his email address, his company name, and they will associate the new company, which is Apple as a primary company for this specific contact. I really recommend you to update existing contact instead of create new contact from the change because you don't want to keep like old data that is out to date. And if you already talk with John Smith, you want to keep the historic of all your conversation, even if it change is company. So highly recommend you to click on update existing contact with job change. So that's the manual way of dealing with job change but as you see we have 5300 contacts that have a job change 
we might want to make it automatic so we don't need to every day go to Apollo to see if it's like a new job change or something. We want it to deal with 100 new job change per day or something and we can create a workflow within Apollo that will do that for us. So to do so, you just need to click on automate enrichment and schedule enrichment. And here is not like a spot, but it's really easy to follow. You will be able to define the object to enrich. So we always want to enrich a contact because it's a contact that will change company. So you click on contact, you save the object, and then you can say, I want job changes. I want to update existing contacts, not create new contact as we saw in the manual way. You save the action and you can put filters. So it's not necessary, but if we take back our example, we want it to enrich only the leads from friends so you can go to location add friends you can put all the filters you want and if you remember well we put custom properties and that's why they are used for you can also say contact custom fields i only want my top target my top target property that i didn't create but you have the id to be set up as true once i'm done you save your specific filters and the last thing you need to check is the cadence, the frequency it will happen. So I want this to be able to run every day. And because every time you will perform a job change, it will cost you a credit in Apollo and you pay per credit. I want to say, okay, like I have 300 credits per month and I don't want to pay more. So I say, okay, 300 divided by 30 days, like 10 credits per day. So I can say I want only 10 credits that get spent. So 10 contacts that get updated every day based on that workflow. Once that done, you save the cadence and you just click on next settings. Next settings is simply for you to remember the workflow you created. You give it a name and you click on save enrichment job. If you want it to perform directly, click on save. If you want to prepare it for later, just tick it off before saving it. That way you can go to the view schedule job here and say, I want this one, this one, this one, not this one, etc. You can create different workflows based on the different filters or frequency you want. And by doing so, every day it will happen that 10 leads of this list will get updated in your HubSpot. So what will happen in your HubSpot portal? They will take the same contact because you choose update and they will update is email address, his job title, his company name, and the company is associated to. If he worked in Tesla before and then he worked in Apple and Apollo send you information, he will still be associated to Tesla, but he will have a new association, which is Apple, and the primary company will be Apple. So there is no way to automatically delete the old association. I think a spot is trying to work on that features, but for now it's not available yet. So be careful in your data segmentation in your spot portal. You will need to include the primary association label to make sure you targeting the people from the good company. One other thing is that, as I said before, Apollo is a scrapping tool. I don't know if they like me calling it that way, but they manage to find information in a lot of different ways and sometimes it happens that they don't find the information which results in maybe someone changed job but Apollo didn't recognize it so it will not show up in the list we saw before but one bad thing that can happen is like they know that John Smith went from Tesla to Apple but they didn't manage to find the new email address of John Smith so you will have a John Smith working at Apple but with a Tesla email address. So it can create some bad data in your hotspot. So that's why I really advise you when you schedule your automation to don't put too much credit per day or per week or per month, depending on your strategy, to make sure you can control the data that arrive in your CRM. So that's a really powerful tool, but it's not perfect, obviously, so you need to be careful about those different possibilities. Apollo has a certain price and is much more than just a job change automation tool. As I said, you can find all your targeted leads around the world. You can do this job change automation and you can also organize all your cold outreach sequences within that tool. So if you decide to purchase Apollo, first, don't hesitate to use my affiliate link, but take into account that you can do much more than that and it can be really useful for you to know how to use the other features before purchasing it. And of course, I will do a video to present the other features of Apollo so you have a complete overview of the platform. It was kind of a more difficult video than usual. I hope it was clear enough. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up to this video and to subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss any new video. 
as I said, I have an affiliate link to Apollo, so don't hesitate to use it if you want to try this solution. It was Greg, I wish you a great week and see you next Wednesday.